Oh, welcome. I'm Trish. Today I'm going to take a look at Sebastian Rogers. I can't believe I haven't looked at this one sooner. Uh, what's led me to this case is the dream that I had a couple of weeks ago about a body being put in landfill or a dump. Um, in the dream that I put up on YouTube, I said that I didn't know if it was related to the current missing people that I was reading on or if it was going to be on an upcoming one that I would read on. Now this is the first missing person that I'm reading on since that dream and what led me here is that in that dream it showed me a tree and also showed me an RV and I was looking at Madeline Soto video footage on YouTube yesterday and there was an RV, picture of an RV on the fence line where she was found and she was also found on a road that had the word tree in, in, the, in the word. I can't remember the name of the road she was found on, um, off the road. So those two things, and I know she went missing the same time as Sebastian Rogers. So that's what's led me over to Sebastian Rogers. Now, Sebastian Rogers is, has autism. Um, autism is a spectrum disorder, so it's different for everybody, how they, what they're like with autism. I've raised a child with autism. So, and this young man reminds me of my son when he was that age. So I kind of do understand some of the things that, challenges that they face. And when I was doing a little pre-shuffle before the reading in my personal deck my son came out and his card is called challenge so and and that came out when I was trying to tap into Sebastian there now Sebastian's energy that I'm getting is not in the forefront like it's more like standing off to the side now when I do a first reading I go one layer deep I go in kind of unbiased so I try not to get too much information on the case I know that he went missing on uh, the Sunday night he was last seen when he went to bed Sunday Sunday evening which was the 26th of February February. by six o'clock on the Monday morning the 27th of February he was not in his room so he was missing and his key ring flashlight is also missing as well so I've got very basic information on this case because I like to go in a little bit blind so I'm not too biased as uh, around the people involved now I did watch a video on his birth father um, giving an interview and he seems like a good father um, in the way that he teaches his son with autism and I just felt like he was very genuine and I felt and very heartfelt actually um, with with his energy and I, I really really do feel for him and I, I really really do hope and pray that Sebastian is safe and well um, but we're going to read the cards and we're going to see what happens now I okay so I've had a dream last night knowing I was going to read on Sebastian this morning so this morning for me is um, Monday the 25th of March which in America it's still um, evening on Sunday evening the 24th of March so this is when I'm doing this reading now I think I might put the dream at the end of the video just in case it's not related to this case let's get into this reading now i also have got a little message in um, to keep an eye on the blue candle um, when i was tapping in before and pulled the card on my son um, came out of my deck and that was the challenge card and my son is autistic um, it had the blue candle started going really funny and I got the the message to keep an eye on the blue candle um, during the reading so let's get into this reading now I'm using the new investigation oracle this is the one that's been um, dispatched out to everybody so a lot of you would already have your cards by now so um, it might be an idea to get them out at the same time as I'm reading and see if you're getting the same things as, as what I'm getting um, just to get familiarized a little bit with the cards um, and yeah just to but let me know if you get the same as me let me know what you get um, and, and what you think and, and how you're going with the card reading but let's tap in here now and let's get into this reading okay so first of all I'm just going to let the cards just talk about whatever they want to talk about here okay so I'm getting that um, devil energy which is the rage um, sometimes I call it narcissism I do have a narcissist card um, okay something resilient and slow processed 
Okay, so I'm just doing a little tap in here just to see what's going on. And here we have the challenge card, the mental struggle or illness. Now this card here is in my personal deck, but it's my son. This one's not my son. This has been made for sale, so it's not my son in the picture. Um, but in my personalized deck, it is my son. And this is the card. And it's called Challenge in my personal deck. Um, and it's all about the struggles of... Um, growing as an autistic child so you know going through puberty or becoming a young man and the struggles that they deal with shows some of the mental struggles that they they can go through and that's why i feel like um, perhaps this one here is usually with these decks i find that they attach to certain cards within the deck and it would really make sense to me to have sebastian attached to this card because in my personal deck this is my son my son's card and it's called challenges in my personalized deck um, and my son has autism so and it's the challenges that he has faced growing up into a young man and the mental struggles um, and challenges that he has faced so and that's why it was created in my personal deck but it's it would be very fitting that Sebastian would recognize himself in my deck and attach to this card here so that would make sense to me now sitting right next to that we've got the card of the devil we've got the devil and the tarot and that indicates can indicate rage it can indicate alcoholism it can indicate um, somebody that has that kind of narcissistic kind of temper kind of anger anger energy and now I've got a dream at the end of this that I had last night and it does kind of relate to that energy of that person there. Now resilience and slow process. Okay so resilience and slow process I feel in this case is um, now autism is a spectrum disorder so it's different for everybody how they handle and how they are with autism. Every autistic person is different in the way they cope with things and that the, the way they can do things. Now I um, in my experience with raising an autistic child, um, it's a slow process and it, it's a long, it's a lifelong, lifelong job. So it does never end and you can teach something and it can be forgotten. So you've got to constantly be teaching and you've got to constantly be, it's a slow process. The learning of something is a slow process and you have to be very resilient um, with this. And I feel like this is the energy around here is... Um, just related to challenges around raising an autistic child so here is group pro group um, group involvement which can indicate sometimes more than one person or something around a group or a social group and could that could actually be um, which I will validate that one to see let's validate it now because it can indicate more than one person involved in this case or it can indicate Sebastian wanting to or becoming involved in a new group or wanting to get involved in something as a group activity which I know I do understand I do understand that with autism socializing is a difficulty as well so up here Okay, up here we are looking at challenges with around autism because we're looking at um, the slow process around um, the development or sometimes being a little younger than what they actually are in age-wise. So um, that that's what says here, resilience, slow, it's a slow process, but it can be that um, he may actually be a little younger than he actually is in numbers and here it, it talks about group involvement can talk about a social um, social anxiety or anxiety around groups so here i feel like i'm just tapping into sebastian's energy up on this one i feel like this is what's going on here okay i feel like this is just sebastian's energy relay relaying how he feels Okay, I don't know if the anger, maybe then if we're talking about him, so justice, trying to get fair justice or balance, so balance here. Mm. What he thinks is fair as opposed to what parental figures think is fair here, because we're talking about justice, which is all about fairness and balance. Okay, thank you. Please let me know um, where you are. Where are you? Okay. 
Okay, this says home. Um, I think we're talking around, okay, so he was in the home and then what happened? Um, this is called wrong direction, but it's also like a path on a path wrong direction okay more information on that one what do you mean by that Um, masking. Masking is an autistic thing as well. Ma um, when you when you mask certain difficulties that you have or certain things about yourself, you can mask. Um, okay, I'm going to put the cards back in now. This is what I'm just kind of being directed to do here. Okay, we're coming in with questions now. Okay, with that anger card too, that um, can also be like inner turmoil and anger that could have been felt from, because we're reading on Sebastian's line there um, around how he felt. So maybe he was angry about something. There was something that he was angry about. Um, I just have to show you these. Um, I was actually thinking that I should pick up my medium deck and just see if I can tap into um, Sebastian to see if that's a thing. A um, couple of things have happened here. We've got the person that's known to them. There was like a tower moment. Tower moment is when, you know, things come crumbling down or there's a lot of chaos and a lot of turmoil around a situation around somebody that they know. Okay, here is... Um, drugs and alcohol um, the drugs and alcohol card here the yes card now that was me trying to tap in to thinking that I should get the medium card and just tap in what I've got here is um, wants to talk about family This card says this was my time, but talks about timing. This card here talks about um, older female energy or female energy. And this one here is um, talks about, it says, think carefully, thoughtful, head, in, head injury, it says, head issues. Third party involvement. So it says, whoops, so down it says third party involvement. Um, strength and courage. So strength and courage. Someone being very, very courageous and very strong. I can feel that. Um, I can feel Sebastian's energy of being, being courageous and being strong. Okay, for some reason I've got the soulmate card here. I'm not sure what the soulmate card means, but it did fall out separately to these two cards over here. Now I'm feeling, I'm wondering if he tried to stand up to um, he, his stepfather. With these cards and just see if there's anything significant in numbers or letters. Any numbers or letters that are significant to this case, please. Okay, um, again, the courageous lion, but it's also number 13. Here is all about head again. This is brain, beautiful brain, but it could also be head, something around the head or head injury. This one here is blissful. Um, I've checked out 
drugs here i'll just have to let you know what that says okay so let's get back to this reading with the true crime deck and i just want to see if i can go a little bit deeper with this reading in person sebastian Ro rogers with a missing person there is you need to look at whether the person left or run away you need to look at whether there is um death and concealment there are, there was an accident is the th is the, the third one so let's first of all just pull a card on whether sebastian left on his own free will did sebastian leave now i know that he apparently left with um It says, please find me, running out of time. Was it an accident? What we have here is um, harsh judgment. And I have um, dark web all recorded. Now, I don't this I, i'm not feeling this was something that was recorded for the dark web i feel like that's related to the dream that i had last night where he was recording something or there was something on sebastian's phone that he was hiding or he was looking at on his phone maybe there was harsh judgment around that so that felt to be whatever that was there was harsh harsh judgment around that so because the dream that I had was all about making videos and recording videos. Here is a vehicle. Movement in a vehicle. Okay, now now I'll ask if there was um, death and concealment. Involved or water. Tower moment, chaos and drama. Um, in a room so in a room alcohol again world cards normally the end of the situation I had to get away okay so I am going to bottom of the deck is my yes card okay I'm going to um, what happened? What happened to Sebastian? Okay, so I've just changed the screen view a little bit so I can put the cards out so you can see them. As Please find me. Running out of time. Unaware of surroundings. suspicious activity but this is something on a phone somebody looking at a phone which was what my dream was all about web of lies timing around the timing sorry that one fell out wrong okay Sebastian Rogers what happened Um, statement web of lies around the timing and the statement information given in order to to do related to freedom to so somebody's lying And guilty. Direction.
what this is making me think is the dream that I had about the person being taken away to landfill and they were taking far away so in in a wrong direction like you know just in a in the dream it was they were trying to go far away in a direction that wouldn't be thought like where they thought people wouldn't check or where they thought they wouldn't be so and and that's what this wrong direction is giving me so it's like taken far away in a wrong direction that was the dream now I don't know if that that, that was the original dream that I had a few weeks ago I don't know if that's related maybe this is um, holding out hope that Sebastian is lost in a wrong direction went the wrong direction the problem here is though we have a lot of cards about lying timing evidence and guilty he also did pull the third party involvement card left behind also another road dirt road digital footprint also showing me on the phone something on the phone and my dream last night was all about something hidden on a phone somebody trying to hide something on a phone um, somebody trying to hide a phone so in my dream I thought it was Sebastian's phone or Sebastian trying to hide something on the phone but I'm wondering now if there's something on a phone that was hidden or hiding a phone hidden this card says hidden digital footprint hidden this is feeling like the dream that I had last night hiding something on the phone chaos and drama tower card devil please find me running out of time let's validate that what do you mean by that Please find me running out of time. What do you mean? Okay, this says blunting somebody out of the picture. Something to do with money and the hangman. Hangman is about delays, but it's also tree related. And I did have a tree in the dream that I had a few weeks ago. Okay, so I'm getting something about the number two and um, someone not being truthful or wanting someone to be truthful about something. Okay, Sebastian. Did Sebastian, did Sebastian leave his home intentionally in the middle of the night? Um, mental struggles this is Sebastian this is Sebastian's card that he's relating to this is mental mental struggles or illness but it can also be a fight related to a fight because you can see there's boxing gloves here on this one okay, I'm just gonna put these ones back Did Sebastian leave the home intentionally? Did Sebastian intentionally and willingly walk out of the door? I had to get away. Why? Um, here it says safety for safety so it says safe and well but for safety had to get away for safety someone not aware and then the vehicle the vehicle card here as well we've got the magician also 
um, that says dark ritual but I feel like that's talking darkness here body is hidden I didn't see that one fall out but it says body is hidden okay I'm just going to jump over and pull a card from a different deck I'm coming back in with more specific questions but I just want to see if there's any other card from any other deck that needs to come out okay so the cards that I've just pulled out I just wanted to see if there was any other cards from any other deck that needed to come out these, these are very autistic trait cards that have come out so social acceptance don't need approval and accepting other people's opinions okay why these are important why these are important is because of the dream that I had last night was all about um, wanting to do something possibly not allowed to do that and couldn't understand why he needed approval to do something to be socially normal something social considered socially normal here socially accepted and that, that's kind of the energy of the dream so you know for instance if it was making a tiktok video that's what everyone else does so it's a socially norm kind of thing it's a social or perhaps it was you know doing a video or something with somebody else but in my dream he was the video that they showed me there was a young person on their own it was a single person now here we've got issues around accepting other people's opinions so there seemed to be I'm, I'm feeling this tension between wanting to do something not being allowed to do it couldn't understand um, why approval was needed on this socially normal kind of thing to do couldn't accept the opinions of others so this these three cards here relate to the dream that I had last night when I knew I was reading on Sebastian and they are kind of autistic kind of trait cards that have come out so that would be accept other people's opinions um, social acceptance and don't need approval so they are kind of um, autistic things because sometimes socially they can be separate feel like they want approval of other people or want to feel like they're normal and want to feel want to fit in and feel like they're normal so they can mask certain certain traits about around being um autistic but then there's issues around other people's opinions of um, autistic traits or you know what's socially normal and and then a sense of feeling like well i don't need I don't need to fit in or I don't need anyone else's approval or there's that kind of energy coming out of these three cards here so let's go back to the crime deck and ask specific questions six cards and just around the energy of Sebastian on the night of the 26th so the night of the 26th energy of Sebastian Rogers had to get away chariot again car not involved or unaware again not involved or unaware these three cards keep coming out six cards the energy of Sebastian Rogers on the night of the 26th of February okay justice again fairness and balance this is um, payback wheel of fortune payback and um, it says note left behind so something left behind something left behind okay that could be that he left it is strange that he left like shoes behind he left everything basically behind except a flashlight and that is strange 
Okay, so let's ask, and I'm putting the cards back in, so we're going to clarify these two things here. So why did you leave everything behind? Why did you have to get away? So let's clarify those two cards as we as we try to go deeper with this one. Okay, first of all, if you had to get away, what were you running from? What did you have to get away from? What did you feel like you had to get away from? Um, this is the mother card. It says Empress, mother. Um, safety, safety. It says I am safe now. This is safety. Had to get away for safety. Wrong direction again. Could be the the path or the wrong. And here's something around DNA evidence. Now DNA evidence, mum would have the same DNA here. Okay, what did you have to get away from? Why, why, why? There was like a fight or mental struggles. And here related to um, the relation, around the relationship, with the relationship. Accomplice or had help? So was there a fight with mum and Sebastian or mum and stepfather? There was a, some kind of fight or struggle around a relationship. Was there issues around fighting with the partner? Let's let's pull that. Let's clarify the two, the two scenarios here. Fighting between the mother and the partner because of Sebastian. Horophant is authority. Um, somebody wanting to lay down the law, authority, over, over discipline, I guess, over how things are handled, um, who has the right to handle things, something missing, um, and a connection. So this is also, I feel like the connection, it's not, it's not called connection, but I'm feeling like it's the... Um, perhaps affecting the, um, the the partner's connection. And it says um, the, the temperance card is about a relationship imbalance. Okay, was there fighting between mother and Sebastian because of the two cards that came out there? That was the other part that I thought I was trying to validate between. Okay, was there fighting between mother and Sebastian? because of social media, which was my dream, um, because of social media. I want it out. Check the timing and the hermit is um, kept in the dark, so out in the darkness. So in the darkness. Again, we've got the chariot, which is movement or car. Um, you cannot see clearly, that's the darkness. Deeply involved or water, also a dark card. And dark web or recorded, also dark, dark again. So all these cards are dark, 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 dark. So that is saying that it happened in the, in the dark of night. But here we're also talking about something recorded or some something recorded again. I feel like it's back to my dream where it was about recording a video of some sort. Okay, wanted out over. Did you did Sebastian? Okay, keeps coming back to the car. Okay. I was going to ask, did he get out? But it, the card's showing out in the dark in the dark, in the car. This was talking about battles between Sebastian and mother over social media and he wanted out. What happened? Then what happened? Then what happened? 
purposely disappeared. Aggressive attack. Uh, ring marks are organized. Drugged or poisoned. Okay, let's let's put another card over. Aggressive attack. Aggressive attack. Sebastian. Mental struggles or fight. check the timing okay what I'm just getting here the question that I'm getting here I'm wondering if um, Sebastian had an aggressive outburst now what I'm trying to validate is who who was the aggressor and who was attacked is what I'm trying to get here okay who was the aggressor who was the aggressor I had to get away. Um, something wasn't fair. But unaware of my surroundings. Temperance, life in the balance. Dark, dark night. What I'm wondering now if Sebastian felt something was handled unfairly or he felt couldn't understand why he needed someone's approval over something and that he felt something was very unfair or dealt with very unfair. There was issues around um, authority and laying down the law. These are the cards that are coming out. Then what happened? Sebastian Rogers. Where is Sebastian Rogers now. Where is Sebastian Rogers right now? Okay, cover up or tampering? Tunnel or underground? In ground, in earth? Mm. In a tunnel? Cover up or tampering? More than one. And a deal. Aggressive attack? Or confrontation on the bottom. Emperor is father figure. Inside job taken out. Strategy and planning. Mast. Someone not showing a true face. Okay, so finally I'm just going to ask. Um, this is my last. Guilty. That card that flung over there was guilty. Okay, any final words on this one? Last, last words on this one for my last words purposely disappeared I had to get away away then what happened something about DNA evidence phone um, the phone record so somebody looking at a phone um, something left on a phone or something this is a note left behind or something left behind something about the phone and here it says um, domestic violence or abuse so related to had to get away from some kind of um, violence within the home that's domestic violence um, or abuse of some sort 
Okay, all alleged here. This is just card reading. That again, which are Okay, so where where is Sebastian? It says unaware of surroundings. Um, freedom card is there, Una unaware of surroundings. Over here we're looking at um, the phone, something about something on the phone. Domestic violence and abuse. Something left behind. Hidden, unclear or no. Okay, I was checking in. Um, okay, m my worry, it's been a long time since he's been found. I was asking if he's still alive. Um, Okay, the other question that I needed to clarify that came up in the reading was um, why was all of his things, why did everything get left behind? Like why did he take nothing? Why didn't he take anything with him? Say is I have to get away but then nothing was taken, no shoes, no phone. I, I don't believe the phone was taken. Cover up, no, marks left behind. So covering up marks left behind. And I said, why Why was there not, Why was everything just left behind? More than one person involved, a cover up, no, something's hidden, or secrets being exposed. Okay, I feel like we can get more information on that one. Okay, um, I've lost connection here, so I can't get any more in information there. Um, I've, I've lost the the I've lost the connection that I had here with this. Okay, the same cards kept coming out over and over again here. Um, I know it doesn't explain why there was no shoes. I mean, logically, we could probably guess why that would be. But my problem is the amount of times the card come out, I had to get away or I wanted to get away. Maybe he wanted to leave. Maybe that was part of the fight. Maybe, maybe it was just very tense because the Chaos and Tower card came out many times. Okay, I've lost connection, but I just wanna see if someone else is involved, if you can tell me who. I have Stranger cards in here as well, so um, if someone else was involved in the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers, who Unaware of surroundings, lovers, which means relationship. Um, heavy burden or carried. Okay, one more pull from the medium cards. Okay, there was battles. It says battles, um, stubborn temper, head collision, head, head again, head. Um, this one says I love you, my heart is yours. Okay, in the home, new beginning, fresh start. New beginning, fresh start. Feels like home, you are my world. Um, home related. 
Okay, so um, my com um, yeah, that's as long as I can read for. My connection's definitely gone now, but my dream will be following at the end. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm Trish. Yeah, so with the dream I had last night, I passed a teenage young te like a young man a teenager in a mall and he said to me he was going to make a tiktok video and i said okay well you know i, I was passing him and i said okay um you have fun with that i uh, make make a good one so he went and then i i don't know if i became his energy or i stepped into his energy and i felt like um okay i was trying to there was something I really wanted to do um, and I was trying to get some kind of independent freedom as far as um, being able to do something that I really, really wanted to do. And But I was very fearful. I was, I was kind of going through this more like I was trying to hide actually. I was hiding um, because I was worried about the energy of another person. Um, kind of gave me like narcissism or even psychopath it was kind of really negative energy that I was picking up on this other person so um, yeah I don't know if they were violent openly but it was kind of like I just something that I saw in their eyes when I was looking through looking to this person I was actually kind of fearful but I was also trying to get my in kind of independent freedom and be able to want to do do what I wanted to do that's how I kind of felt in the dream I was yeah there's something I really wanted to do and in my dream it was to make this TikTok video and but for some reason it wasn't it was frowned upon I wasn't supposed to be doing that so it was like I had to hide it or I had to hide is is what the sense I was picking up on and then I was sitting in a couch like an armchair and I had my phone and I looked down on the screen and there was like this young guy doing a TikTok video and he was like it was very creative it had like the camera on a low angle and he was leaning down into the um, camera doing like a rap or some kind of thing and there was like buildings and stuff behind him it was very creatively done it was very well done um but I was trying to hide it as I'm sitting there on this couch. I think the person found me that I was hiding from and I was trying to um, trying to hide whatever was on my phone as I'm, I'm sitting there. So I'll either hide the phone or hide something on the phone. That was a dream. So I don't know if it's all connected or in any way. And I don't know. Um, for me, dreams are very cryptic. So for me, it, they showed me TikTok, but it doesn't necessarily mean it had to be TikTok. It could have been something I was doing on the phone that I was hiding, or it could just, um, I mean, I'm into videos and making videos. So it um, could just be something that he was into, not necessarily phone related, um, something that he wanted to do that he was into that he was trying to hide about himself. So they, those were the elements that were in the dream. So hiding something about yourself, hiding something that you really wanted to do wanting to do something but not being able to do it or not being allowed to do it so it, that's kind of what I was feeling and feeling like you wanted to hide away from a certain person or had to hide something or yourself from a certain person so that was the energy of the dream that I picked up knowing that I was going to read on Sebastian this morning and as I said this person that I was um, that I passed in the mall he was a young teenage boy the person on the um, TikTok video that they showed me, he was also a young, uh, I believe it was maybe the same person, it may not have been, it may be something he was watching, um, but it was a young teenage boy doing some kind of rap video or something on, or rap, a TikTok video or some kind of video on some social media. So anyway, I'm not sure if that's related, but that's what they showed me. There was no numbers or anything like that, that um, usually when I get numbers, it can mean dates, it can mean things like that. I got no numbers. That's pretty much all I got out of that one was sense of feeling and um, yeah, the, the feelings around it. So thank you for joining me.